हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू द सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर वन क्लास नाइन केमिस्ट्री टूडे वी विल स्टडी द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर दीज आर पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर आर वेरी वेरी स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर आर कॉन्टिन्यूसली मूविंग पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर हैव स्पेसिस बिटवीन दैम एंड पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर attract each other let's discuss the first property that is particles of matter are very very small for this we'll perform an activity take 100 ml water in a beaker add 2 to 3 crystals of potassium permanganate the solution will become dark pink in color now take about 10 ml of this solution and put it in another beaker containing 90 ml of water so that total volume will become 100 ml now again take 10 ml of this solution in another beaker containing 90 ml of water so that it again becomes 100 ml keep diluting the solution like this about 5 to 8 times you will observe that color will fade but the water will still have color in it so this experiment shows that just a few crystals of potassium permanganate can color a large volume of water hence we conclude that there must be millions of tiny particles in just one crystal of potassium permanganate second property is that particles of matter are continuously moving let's understand with an activity take an incense stick and place it in a corner of your room Now light the incense stick. Do you get the smell sitting at a distant place? Of course yes. This is due to the fact that particles of matter are continuously moving as they possess kinetic energy. And on increasing temperature their kinetic energy also increases hence the particles of matter start moving even faster you know that one more thing has happened here and that is diffusion when you place incense stick in one corner of your room then the concentration of perfume particles is more in that corner as compared to the rest of the room so the particles moved from high concentration to low concentration and this process is known as diffusion the rate of diffusion is fastest in gases then in liquid and then in solid next property is particles of matter have spaces 
between them. We will have an activity for this also. Take a glass of water and mark the water level on this. Now dissolve a small amount of sugar. You will observe that water level has not increased. This is due to the fact that particles of water were having spaces in between them and sugar particles were adjusted in those spaces. This proves that particles of a matter have spaces in between them. Last property is that particles of matter attract each other. Actually, there are some forces of attraction between the particles. Let's perform an activity for this. Take an iron nail and a piece of chalk. Try to break each of these by hammering or cutting. You will observe that it is very difficult to break an iron nail while it's easy to break a piece of chalk. This is because the iron particles were held by stronger forces of attraction and these forces keep the particles together. With this, the properties of particles of matter is over. We will discuss next topic in next video. Goodbye. Do subscribe, like, share and comment. And don't forget to click bell icon for upcoming lessons notification.